Namaste. I'm back with a short story. Maybe it's not that short, but it's a story with a moral. And uh, actually, the moral is not very short moral. Uh, it comes with a detailed moral uh, with this story. So the name of my story is how to give outlet to your anger or stress. So maybe now you can find out what is actually the moral of this story. So the title is how to give outlet to your anger or stress. So in one company, the boss used to scold the employees named Zach. So his name is Zach for not being punctual, not meeting the deadlines, et cetera, et cetera. Zach became very angry. He was stressed out. He wanted to hit the boss with his shoes. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. I know it's not very nice, but that's Zach, not me. He wanted to hit the boss with his shoes. But he was in the need of this job, so he stopped wearing his shoes. But when the torture of the boss continued, he stopped going to office and his attendance dropped down. His parents got really worried and his partner as well. So they took him to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist assured them that the cure is very simple. Zach has to keep a large photo of his boss at home and hit it with shoes five times before going to office and five times after coming back from office. Again, if you're laughing, it's not me, it's the psychiatrist. So Zach had to keep a large photo of his boss and hit it with his shoes five times before he goes to office and five times after coming back from office. Zach said, what difference will it make? Doctor said, Give it a try and you will know it will make a difference. I just don't want to express it in words. Give it a try first. Zach followed doctor's advice. Within one month, he started feeling light. His anger towards boss decreased and his performance improved at work. The boss became very happy and called Zach in his cabin. Boss said, Zach, you're the best performance of this month. I would like to promote you. But before that, just tell me the secret of your improved performance. Zach, boss, please don't ask me the secret. Thank God, boss did not insist. The moral of this story is, Zach gave outlet to his anger by hitting the photo of the boss with shoes. So Zach gave outlet to his anger by hitting the photo of the boss with shoes. But... There is a better way to give outlet to your anger or stress. During anger or stress, lots of hormones like adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol accumulate in our body. If these hormones are chronically and persistently elevated in our body, it causes damage to cell and lead to various diseases. We can give outlet to these hormones in, in a civilized way by doing physical exercises. It is recommended that you should do 30 minutes moderate exercise for at least five days a week to lead a healthy life. And remember, I'm, I'm not a health person. I'm not trying to tell you what you should do health-wise, but I'm trying to tell you that to give the outlet to your stress or anger, Physical exercise is very, very important. And in turn, it will help you to become healthier as well. There are many benefits of exercise. First one, there will be less incidence of developing heart diseases, strokes, and diabetes. Second, it lowers your blood pressure. It prevents depression. Third, it improves memory and thinking skills. <clears throat> Fourth, it increases vitality. It boosts your body's energy by increasing metabolic rate, by activating thyroid and adrenal glands, by supporting digestion, and by stimulating your nerves and your muscles. Next, it promotes mental fitness. It helps to develop cool, calm, and clear thoughts. It fosters confidence. It makes you look and feel good. And obviously, it supports a healthy posture. That's it from me. I'm sure there are many other benefits of exercise as well. If you have any other benefits of exercise which I have not listed, please let me know through comments. 
If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and do watch and like my other videos too. Thank you. Namaste.